aim to measure a constant velocity using an air track and light gates. Apparatus, blower, air track, glider with card, two light gates, scalar timer, set the timer at zero. When you break the beam, the timer starts and it stops when your hand has gone all the way through. Reset, break the beam, hold your hand in the beam, take your hand out. So the beam is a way to measure the time it takes for something to pass through the light gate. Taking a reading. It took the glider 12 hundredths of a second to pass through the first light gate and 12 hundredths of a second to pass through the second light gate. Since it took the glider the same time to go through the first light gate as the second light gate, then it was going at a constant velocity. The length of the card is 12.7 centimetres. The length of the card was 12.7 centimetres. Divide by 100, you get 0.127 metres. The time to go through one of the gates was 12 centiseconds. That's 0.12 seconds. Divide the length by the time to get the velocity, 1.06 metres per second. Precaution, make sure the track is level. It took 14 hundredths of a second to go through the first light gate, but it only took 11 hundredths of a second to go through the second light gate. This means that it's speeding up. To correct this, we use the adjusting screws to raise the end of the slope. It now takes 12 hundredths of a second to go through the first light gate, but 14 hundredths of a second to go through the second light gate. So we raised the track too much at that end. The glider is now moving at a constant velocity since it takes 15 hundredths of a second to go through the first light gate and 15 hundredths of a second to go through the second light gate.